up, you maggots! This is your instructor, Katie Lynch! You need to turn down your tellies because you are watching Backstage Bite! Woohoo! And it's time to get a little bit naughty! You know her! You love her! I love her! Here she comes, the legendary Leslie Margarita, who plays Mrs. Wormwood in Matilda! kitchen down. How much do you know about cooking? Nothing, baby. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. I am Mrs. Wormwood. I microwave everything. I'm here to help you the whole time, right. but I'm not going to do anything. Huh? <laughs> we are going to make extra naughty fudge brownies. Ooh! With a Mrs. Wormwood kick! Yes! With a Wormwood kick! Wait, where are you from? California. Originally? Forever? Totally, totally California. Yeah. Like, like totally, totally, for sure. I just got a manicure, the sun, I swear. It's bleaching out my hair. Oh. <laughs> I think that we should start off the way Mrs. Wormwood would start this off. Screaming? With a cocktail. Oh, God, yes, thank you. Strawberry or cherry? Cherry. Probably. You're just cute as black and pink. Thank you so much. That's my favorite combo. This is so Mrs. Wormwood. Oh. Organic Valley Butter. Organic Valley Butter. I put the whole thing in? Whole thing in. Little okay. And then you are going to do half a cup of chocolate chips. Oh my gosh, I think I have a talent that I have not yet discovered. I think you do too. Okay. Please fill in the sentence. A little less blank, a lot more blank. <laughs> a little less hippie, a lot more sparkle. <laughs> It's melting. Yes. Okay. You have fantastic hair, not only in the show, but in real life. Well, my hair in real life is usually fake. I have this obsession with uh, fake hair and hair pieces. I love it because then I don't have to do my own hair. Auditions, if you're having a bad hair day, just don't wear your own. My poor husband, he keeps going, no more, no more, because all, all of the closet here is bags of wigs. Face it's bubbling. It's bubbling. And I'm going to teach you how to crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> Two Organic Valley eggs. Organic Valley again. Hey! hey! Oh my god, it's so talented. I need you to know that the people that made this possible <laughs> are you. But mostly me. Okay. So I feel like Mrs. Wormwood would only use sugar in the raw <laughs> because it looks like crystals. Ooh, shiny! <laughs> okay. So you need one cup of sugar in the raw. Pour it in. One teaspoon of vanilla. But a generous teaspoon? Generous teaspoon. Oh! <laughs> it's time to... <laughs> mix fast! One, two, three, four! My chocolate that I made. The whole thing? The whole thing. One, two, three, four. If you were a household appliance, what appliance would you be and what noise would you make? If I'm gonna come back as anything, it's probably gonna be a wine opener. <laughs> Great. And, and I would go, yes! It's time to sift, 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 sift. You're going to do two thirds cups of flour. Okay. Put it in the sifter. A, a fourth a teaspoon of baking soda. I don't know if you've ever had anything more perfect on the show, but... I haven't. So, oh, 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 I have oh, to keep oh. it like... So there is resistant flour. Unload and add your flour. We add it as it's going. What? Do you want to tell me why you're obsessed with Star Wars? And when this started? So it started when I was uh, a little kid first movie I ever saw was Return of the Jedi. I loved it, and then I went back and watched the other movies and became obsessed. So like action figures and, instead of Barbies. Met my husband, who's also a massive Star Wars fan. So that was giant. We had stormtroopers at our wedding. Uh, my favorite character is Salacious Crumb from Return of the Jedi. He's the little guy who sits in Jabba's tail. Yes. He goes, hee, hee, hee. That's my favorite. 
If you had to cut one character, who would you cut? Jar Jar Binks. Oh, definitely. Now it's time to bake this sucker. In a square pan. In a square pan. Ew, just put it in. in. The pan. With the with the plastic thingy? Yeah. Special. Oh. Let me tell you, I had never seen Matilda until I went back in the show. And so I went to see the show, and when I grow up, the swings, I oh, was a falling mess. Oh my god. Falling it's mess. so good. It is so good. I cried through the whole show, though. We are now going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> Now, yes. we are going to get to know you as fast as possible in quick fire questions! Ah! Ready, set, go! East coast or west coast? West coast. Italian, Mexican, or Chinese? Italian. Late night snack? Mac and cheese. Favorite ice cream flavor? Vanilla. What did you have for dinner last night? Roasted chicken. <laughs> How do you take your coffee? Black. Ooh, Instagram or Twitter? Twitter. First Broadway show you ever saw? Uh, Jerome Robbins Broadway. Ooh, heels or flats? Heels. Go to audition song? Gorgeous from the apple tree. Ooh, guilty pleasure? All of the CW shows. <laughs> Breakfast, lunch, or dinner! <laughs> that was amazing. What are your dream roles? Uh, Andy! number one for sure. I really want to do Kiss of the Spider Woman. I really want to do Adelaide and Guys and Dolls. I have not done it. And you I would be really so funny. I really want to do it. I really want to do that. Those are the big ones. Now we're going to get it a little wormwood kick. Yeah. With coffee. Oh, thank God. Where am I? <laughs> Welcome to my house. I'm a mess. Too soon. Are you modeling for no, me? No, no. <laughs> In a small bowl, a fourth a cup of heavy cream. Organic Valley. Butter. Eggs. Heavy cream. That looks so delicious really to me. Nice. Three teaspoons of instant coffee. Instant coffee? Instant. I do that a lot. In here. Yes. For <laughs> coffee. <laughs> when you stir, you days all your coffee. <laughs> it, that's still like workshopping. I'm doing a, oh, yeah? What's a, it called? a lab uh, coffee dissolve. Coffee dissolve. It's nice. It's in three acts right now. <laughs> So it's a little long. It's a little long. Cutting, and cutting. cutting. Shapes and stuff. <laughs> what do you and Mrs. Wormwood have in common? I have so much in common with her. We have in common just kind of being who you are and being the, the biggest version of that. There's like real value in somebody who knows what they are and is like, this is it. Oh. Not apologetic about it. So I love her. 100%. Um, but yeah, we love the makeup and the sparkles. Now you're going to add your coffee uh -huh. mixture into your bowl. Just pour the whole thing in. Pour the whole thing. Okay. Ah! Four teaspoons of melted butter. Okay, pour the whole thing. Whole thing. Two whole cups of powdered sugar. Gonna ask you a question? <laughs> what was the worst audition you've ever done? Oh, there's been so many. <laughs> years and years ago, I was in New York for a different audition and my agent said, uh, they wanna see you for this other thing. You have no time to prep, but you need to sing this song. So I was like, kind of tried to learn it, just plunking things out myself. So I show up for the audition and it's the entire creative team. Um, I got really nervous. I go to the piano player and I said, listen, this song is total crap and I really need you to like help me out. I, whatever, I don't know who wrote it. And he was like, I did. Oh no! <laughs> but I learned oh and I was God. very young. I was very young. Don't comment on the music. It's not your job to comment on the material. It's your job to do the material. A third cup of heavy cream again. More heavy cream. <gasps> Sizzle! One cup of chocolate chips. Yay, more chocolate chips. More chocolate. What's the best piece of advice you have ever received? To absolutely be myself, be mm -hmm. the performer that I would be. This is who I am. Like it, don't like it, that's okay. Not everyone's gonna like you. I would just like to say, look at your beautiful brown. I know. Foremost. Look at my baby. Distribute. I'm not very good at the evenly distribution. Okay. You're doing distribution. really well. On to the ganache. Ganache! You'll Yes! What has been your favorite memory of the show? Uh, the first preview. It was my Broadway debut. I remember auditioning for the show when I lived in LA and I would drive on the 405 freeway and I would listen to Loud, the London recording. And my first line on stage is, is this gonna take much longer, Doctor? And I remember hearing that line in my car and the first preview that I said that, my whole body just went, oh, it's happening, it's actually happening. I almost cried because it was a huge moment for me. So I'll never forget that. And the curtain call, there's a picture of me 
the first preview and, and the other three principals are like very composed and my face is because I was so excited. It was like years of wanting to, to do a Broadway show and then finally doing it. It was the best. It was the best, yeah. So that's that's my favorite memory, for sure. We are revolting children, we sing revolting songs. We sing revolting songs, we sing revolting songs. We'll be revolting children till our revolting songs. This is too hard and for you. I made them and they're amazing. But like, they really do look though. amazing. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, oh, oh. oh they're so good. They're like jack. These are so naughty. They're really naughty. I want to follow you on social media. Please do. Because you're a rock star on social media too. Please follow me. Twitter and Instagram at Queen Leslie. Snapchat, Queen Leslie Rules. And of course, please follow us on everything mm -hmm. at Backstage Bite. Mm -hmm. I'll so I'll simple. follow you. I follow you. <laughs> I cannot tell you how much I loved having you on the show. I'm a finger, it's amazing. Oh, you are the best. Oh, no, thank you. Oh. I can't believe you made me into a faker. Make sure, guys, you have to go see Leslie Margarita. You have until January 1st. January 1st, Schubert Theater. Mrs. Mrs. Burwood. Yay! See you next time on Backstage Bite! Woo! That was a special jump for me. <laughs> <laughs>